Hi, you're watching Global Energy Show's 5x5 series. I'm Rachel Gregory, and today I'm joined by Roland Platt, Global Lead for Energy and Mining with Cisco. Roland, thanks for being here. It's good to be here. Exciting. Roland, what makes Cisco unique against your competitors? I think the thing for people to recognize is that Cisco has been moving data around the internet and around company networks and, and even in industrial plants for probably close to 30 years now. That's kind of our foundation is moving data around. We've been leaders in that. Now that secure data movement is really becoming common in industry, we're kind of in a unique position to be able to bring these two worlds together. Many of our customers still really struggle with bringing the IT part of the company together with the OT part. And we've been working with both of these teams for a few years now. And I think that's probably the most important way that Cisco differentiates itself is being able to bring common policy and practices across the whole company. What are some of the products and services you offer to your customers? Um, we build lots of network routing and switching products. We build software tools, professional services. But when I think about what our energy customers are actually looking for, uh, it probably gets boiled down to like four different things. They're looking for cost optimization. So things like predictive maintenance solutions or remote operations uh, type capability. Um, second one would be workforce transition tools. Um, things like uh, field workers being able to do voice and video communication from anywhere they happen to be or access work permits and stuff online. The third one would be dealing with cyber risk, right? Visibility and mitigation tools that are purpose built for their environment. And then fourth would be energy transition solutions. So our whole energy industry is going through a transition today and helping companies move towards electric operations in their traditional business or maybe building a new plant. Cisco has validated designs for a lot of these uh, types of infrastructure. And so all four of these business objectives really require modern digital tools. And Cisco knows how to move data around in these modern environments. And we have validated designs for that. And Cisco has unveiled a cloud-based security platform that will help customers to detect and remediate threats. Can you tell us more about this? First of all, because our customers are becoming more dependent on moving data around, even the operations part of the business, they're also opening themselves up to more cybersecurity vulnerabilities. So there are at least sort of these two distinct operating domains for secure data movement. There's the IT part, uh, which is like email and other productivity tools. And then there's the operations side where motors and pumps and valves, they also rely on data movement for operating instructions. And these are two very different worlds. In the IT managed part of the business, the move to cloud app is very mature. And so it makes sense for us to build our IT security solution in the cloud as well. On the operations side of the business, however, it's pretty rare for cloud adoption to be mature. And so in this domain, we have security agents that are built right into the infrastructure like into routers and switches, and they can detect threats right in the communication that's inside these boxes, and they can trigger remediation efforts. And this data doesn't have to go to the cloud for that to happen, right? So that's important in the operations environment. So how does Cisco sustainability initiatives help customers with their ESG goals? That's a really good connection to make. Cisco has its own goal of becoming net zero by 2040. From our own experience of moving towards this goal, we actually come up with industry solutions with state-of-the-art sustainability solutions and resources. And the way we make those available is through four mechanisms, really. So we have industry use cases that have specific sustainability designation. We have sustainable products with low power consumption and circular production that account for the full life cycle of the product. We have solutions that are focused on sustainability objectives together with alliance partners, things like water management and power management. We do run into situations where customers maybe don't have the financial capability to move forward with some of their sustainability uh, objectives and we can provide funding to help do that. Let's talk a global energy show. What are you most looking forward to this year? There really is a transition going on, right? So there's so much innovation going on and these kind of shows really get me excited about what's gonna come and, and, and be presented. And I'm really looking forward to learning about what the latest technology is and then connecting with these people and working with them 
to move data around securely. All of these are built around modern digital tools and they all need data moved around to make them work most efficiently. And so helping people figure that out and making customers successful is, is pretty exciting actually. Thank you, Roland. It was great chatting with you today and hearing more about Cisco. We're excited to see you at Global Energy Show in June.